Hey guys, today I'm breaking down the technique that Felipe Pena used to counter the 411 in his two matches against Gordon Ryan at the Super Fight and ADCC. The first thing that he does is he builds the base the best that he can, usually with a tripod of both his feet and his one arm. His other arm is going to be used for trying to strip control of the hip that Gordon has on him, so he's going to have the most mobility possible. Now, the tricky thing he does here is he gets Gordon to attack the heel, so that he's able to now switch his hips back the way that he came so that his hips are pointing towards Gordon and Gordon's hips are pointing the other way. This is going to allow him the ability to start coming around the hips and attacking Gordon's back. So Felipe immediately starts establishing rotational control with one control of Gordon's left shoulder with his right hand and two control of Gordon's right hip by having his left shin into the back of Gordon's right knee. So it's going to, for nomenclature's sake, very similar to the truck position within the 10th planet system. He's now going to bring his right leg over to replace control of the left leg so he can build base and hip out so that he can create the angle that he needs to solidify back control and establish the left hook. And within this match, he establishes the back control and gets the rear naked choke for the finish. So in the 2017 ACC Absolute Finals, Felipe Pena used this exact same technique against Gordon Ryan only nine months later. We see that Felipe is in this tripod stance with his foot planted. And if I skip a few seconds ahead, Gordon has managed to cinch up control of both legs so that he's immobilizing Felipe and shutting down his ability to base effectively. From here, we're going to see Felipe you try and use this technique, but he does so way too early, and Gordon's hips stay facing towards him. So Gordon just ends up collapsing to his left hip and still inside the 411 position. But as Gordon looks to adjust, Felipe is going to get that right leg free. So he's going to be able to once again build into a proper tripod. So he's going to be really effective and mobile with his hips. And here as Gordon starts to change his hip angle to start applying the dig mechanics for the heel hook, Felipe takes advantage of that commitment from Gordon to now adjust his hip angle and turn out the exact same way that he did in the previous super fight. He's almost puts himself in a knee bar, but he extracts his knee while he completes this. So here we see Gordon is completely upright the first time. Because he hasn't committed too much to the one side to apply the dig, and he has control, he just collapses to the left side. But both times Felipe was successful with this technique, he leaves his heel exposed enough that Gordon bites onto it and actually starts applying a bit of a dig mechanic. I also like to live dangerously. What this has done is it's gotten Gordon to shift his hip angle off to the side. So now he's crossed over to the other side of Felipe's leg and his hips are now being pulled down by gravity. He can no longer go back the way he came as quickly. And so as Felipe adjusts his angle, Gordon collapses to the right hip. Now Gordon knows what's happening. So he's trying to accelerate and turn away versus having his back taken. So Felipe's holding on for rotational control so he can chase the back right now. He chooses to roll all the way through. This ref is right in my fucking way, but Felipe ends up landing into a leg drag here with his knee and elbow connected over top of Gordon's right leg. And as Gordon's shutting down the leg drag, Felipe is going to look to perform another roll, attacking the back. So even though this back attack is being carried out differently with a lot more uh, of a fight and more techniques, that angle that Felipe managed to get of dominance where Gordon's hips were turned away from him is what allowed him to be ultimately successful. So let's just take one more look at these techniques played through at real time. See that he builds the base and as soon as Gordon digs, he turns his hips and the exact same thing in the Studio 540 match.